So in this video, I want to show you how to add and subtract with algebraic fractions using a common denominator. But before we begin, we're going to refresh with a numerical example. So say for instance, we have one half added to one third. Well, to add these two fractions together, we need a common denominator. And this is the lowest common multiple of two and three, which is six. So we can write both fractions of six. To do this, we'll multiply the one half by three, because the two times three will make the six. And we'll multiply the one third by two, because two times three will make the six. So now the one half becomes three over six, and the one third becomes two over six. When we add them together, we get five, six. And we can see in this as a picture. If we have a rectangle, and we split it up into halves, which is our left-hand fraction, and into thirds. If we shaded in one half here, and one third, which is two cells, you can see we have five, six shaded in in total. So all we do, we find the lowest common multiple, which in this case was six, and then we add the two numerators together. Okay, so let's try question A. So we have x over two plus x over three. So again, we're going to use the common denominator of six. So we'll write both fractions over six. We'll multiply the x over two by three. So now we have x times the three, which is three x. And we we'll multiply it x over 3 by 2. So x multiplied by 2 is 2x. When we add these together, we have the 3x plus the 2x to make 5x all over 6. So this is our simplified algebraic fraction, 5x over 6. OK, let's try question B. Okay, for question B, again we need the lowest common multiple for our denominator. So this means the first number or the lowest number, that 5, 10, and 2 are going to, and this is 10. So we can write each fraction over 10. So now we need to multiply 2y over 5 by 2, because the 5 times the 2 will make 10. And this will give us 2y times 2 which is 4y. The middle fraction is already over 10, so we can leave that as 3y. And our right-hand fraction, we need to multiply by 5, because the 2 times the 5 will give us 10. And 5y times 5 is 25y. So now, we have a common denominator of 10. We have 4y plus 3y, plus the 25y, which, when we collect these like terms together, give us 32y all over 10. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 2, and we get 16y over 5. OK, let's move on to question C. OK, for question C, the numerators may look a little bit more complicated, but we're going to work through exactly the same idea. We're going to have a common denominator of a 3 and a 4, which is 12. So we'll write both fractions over 12. And now we need to multiply the left-hand fraction, 2 minus x over 3, by 4. Because this 3 times the 4 will make the 12. So we have 4 lots of 2 minus x. Then for our right-hand fraction, we're going to multiply the 4 by the 3 to make 12, and we'll do the same to our numerator. So 3 lots of 3 minus x, and we're adding these together. So now we can write it over a single denominator of 12. We can expand these brackets out, so we have 4 times 2, which is 8, 
minus 4x plus 3 times 3, which is 9, and then minus 3x. Now we can collect the like terms. 8 plus the 9 will give us 17. And minus 4x, take away the 3x, is minus 7x, all over 12. And this is our simplified fraction. Okay, let's um, move on to our final question, question D. So for question D, we need to show that V over V minus 1, take away V minus 1 over V, simplifies to... 2v minus 1 over v squared minus 3. So it's the same idea. We need a common denominator, which is the lowest common multiple of v minus 1 and v. And to work this out, we need to multiply the left-hand fraction by this denominator and the right-hand fraction by this denominator, so by v minus 1. So our common denominator will be v lots of v minus 1. And we can write that for both fractions. So now, we're going to multiply this numerator v by this v to get v squared. And then this v minus 1 by this v minus 1. And I'll leave them both in brackets. So v minus 1 multiplied by itself and we're taking this away. So the next thing I'm going to do is expand out these brackets. So we have v squared minus v minus another v, so minus 2v, and then minus 1 times negative 1 to make positive 1, all over v lots of v minus 1. And because we've got a common denominator, I can write it all in the numerator, so v squared, and then we'll put this bit in brackets. So finally, we'll expand on this negative. So we have v squared minus v squared plus 2v minus 1, and we'll expand out the denominator, so it's over v squared minus v. And now you can see that these two v squareds will cancel to make zero. So we're left with 2v minus 1 all over v squared minus 3. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.